Hello comrade, this is the second installment of my world building secrets mini series and I want to show you today how you deal with nodes, what these nodes are meaning and some maybe advanced techniques of dealing with nodes and nodes. <laughs> so let's start. So what are nodes? Nodes are in-game the representation of the con connection points for other roads or footpaths or whatever. Here you see a lot of connection opportunities. And if you connect a road like here and here, you get this visual representation of a node. If I remove the road, the node is still there. So what are the bad things of nodes? Nodes have good and bad things. And one good thing is a vehicle can turn around at a node. So if you want to have a turnaround place, you can left over a node and it will turn around. One bad thing is if you upgrade a road, for example, to a better road, you have two constructions. And these two constructions have their own phases. And every phase delivers material and the mechanization and people. If you have one phase, the construction is way faster than you have two phases. So to avoid this one, you can select the road point tool and remove the node. And if you upgrade the road now, you have one bigger construction, it will go faster. The same thing is true for new constructions. So you want to have bigger roads which are not interrupted. And the game usually does a good job in not creating new nodes into the roads, but it can happen. So for example, uh, let us do something like this. And you see here, now I have interruption. And the same method which I showed you before, removing nodes, will work here sometimes, this time not. Why is it? Because this part has a construction office assigned to it. If I remove the construction office or if I pause the construction, I can go against to my node removal tool and do this and have again one big construction instead of many small. Many small constructions absolutely make no sense if you have no reason to interrupt the road. A longer road is most of the times faster than not so long roads. You can paralyze your road building efforts if you do something like this. So it will build this one and this one. But I usually want to have longer stretches of road because this road here has multiple faces and every face, like I said before, needs its own mechanization, needs its own materials. If you have bigger deliveries of the same materials, then it goes faster. If you have smaller materials, you create more traffic and you create more problems for yourself. The next subjects are footpaths and roads. So if you want to build precise footpaths and make them look nice, you will come to hate the nodes. Because, for example, here I have no node in between the road and the building. You see here, it's too short, but you can make a trick. And you cannot create over this one. So if you build a narrow footpath like this, the game allows you to cross it over like that. And there's no connection between this road and the footpath, which is fine. And now you can pull out a footpath here and go your merry way. Like that. You can connect this one and after you've connected it you can remove this little thing and you have a very nice looking footpath so let me build it the thing is this footpath does not connect to the road in any way then don't interact it simply is under it and that's it that's fine because you can uh, put on footpaths in very small corners which you maybe have trouble before Another thing which is problematic if you want to have nice looking footpaths around the road is this one. So this is long enough so it has footpaths but it only goes this way. You cannot build a straight one because the node is exactly here and nowhere else. You can deal with it, let me show you how, by creating invisible nodes. So the thing is here we have some problems so we turn off snapping and we click on the road and hold the shift key. And now you can build very precise roads. So you build an invisible node here. What I mean by invisible is if I build it like so and so, it's not a visible node, but the game remembers. 
and the game remembers so I can now create my footpath and it looks like this. I have two roads here, two nodes here. So if you fiddle it out you can create nicer looking footpaths and uh, <laughs> have nicer looking towns. And the last thing with the invisible nodes is it helps you to create 90 degrees corners better. So for example if you created this one here it is game of luck what kind of corner will come out connecting to these roads. But if you create the road to here, make a break, create it like here, make a break, create it like here. Even though these nodes are invisible, you have um, 90 degree-ish. One special trick what you can do with nodes is placing signs on mud paths. So let me select the sign. For example, this one here, now walking here, I can place it here. But usually the game does not allow me to place it anywhere here on the mud path. But I can create a node like this one here and remove it. And now I can place the sign on the mud path. This is a little trick. One interesting detail is road snapping and the new roads, the one lane roads. So I can do this one here and this one there. So connect two one rail roads to this one because I have road snapping on. If I delete uh, or disable road snapping, I only can pull out one road to this one. It's not possible to create a second one like you see above. It's only one thing and uh, the rest looks, looks weird. <laughs> Some different things can happen here. So yeah, this is an interesting part also because I have now disabled the snapping, I can only pull out from the center. If I enable the snapping, I can pull out from the side of the roads. So I can make something which looks a little bit more reasonable than uh, pulling out roads from the center. At the end, a word of caution. If you build too long roads with no nodes, <laughs> the technical service will not see the whole road because it does not see the ending of the road and cannot turn around so he says oh i cannot clean it like you see here this one is range of 2000 meters and it will not go left if i increase the road to 3000 meters it will clean the road because there's an end point um, somewhere yeah and uh, here's a note to turn around so if your technical service don't do what you expect place some notes to let them turn around and see the whole road. And with that, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a better experience dealing with notes. <laughs> see you next time. Bye, comrade.